hello welcome back if this is the first video you are seeing in this playlist please kindly go to my youtube channel there is a playlist titled igcsa mathematics paper 4 3 may june 2024 there are two videos for questions one and two respectively question 3a rahul rose a die 60 times the results are shown in the table find the mode the median and the mean so the mode is the highest occurrence so five occurs or appears 14 times so that means the mode is five okay then we need to find the uh, median so the median will be the middle number okay so let's see the middle the middle should be 30 so 10 add 6 that will be 16 okay 16 add 11 that will be 27 so we are still not there 27 add 13 that will be 40 so the median number falls here so that means it will be 4 okay so for the mean so the mean is noted by this and is summation of the frequencies and the score that is fx so this will be x so this will be f okay over summation f that is the sum of the frequencies okay so if you do this you need to find fx so to get fx so you can write fx up here 1 by 10 that will be 10 2 by 6 that will be 12 3 by 11 that will be 33 4 by 13 that will be 52 then 5 by 14 that will be 70 then 6 by 6 that will be 36 okay so if you add all these numbers together and uh, divide by the frequency so we can do that so let's use the calculator so we need to add these together so we have um, that's 10 add 12 we have 10 add 12 then add 33 that is 33 then add 4 times 13 that will be 52 then add um, 6 5 times 40, 14 that is 70 add 70 then add 36 okay so this is what we have here so it's because this is uh, blocking this right obstructing it okay so that's what you have there so if you hit enter so you have two one uh three okay so that will be two one three divided by um that's uh, 60 so let's say divided by 60 so this is what you get 21 uh 71 out of 20 so let's convert it to decimal that is 3.5 okay so you have two two one three over sixty so that gives three point five five so three point five five part b uh sangita measures the speed of each of 100 cars the results are shown in the table calculate an estimate of the mean okay so we are still using the same formula to be summation f x over summation f so of course we have 100 cars that will be total frequency okay so we need to find so this will be we need to find x that will be the average of each of these so 20 add 30 divided by 2 will give you 25 so 30 add 50 divided by 2 that will give you 40 50 add 75 divided by 2 that will give you 62.5 so we need to find the product of f and x so this is x now and this is f so fx will be 25 times 10 that is 250 40 times 72 that is 2880 880 then 62.5 uh, multiplied by 18 that will be 1125 so if you add all these together that is 250 250 add 2880 add 1125 so you should get 4,255. So this will be 42.55. So that will be an estimate of the mean, 42.55. So let's go to the next question, Roman figure 2. Sangita draws a histogram to show the information in the table, the height of the bar that represents 20 less than V, V less than or equals to 30 is uh, 3 centimeters. 
So you can say that's the first height, each one to be equal to three. Calculate the height of each of the other two bars on this histogram. Okay, so we have uh, this and this. Okay, so let's go to the previous page. Okay, so the we need to calculate the frequency densities. Okay, so the frequency density equals to frequency over the class size. So the frequency is 10 and the class size for this one is 30 minus 20, that will be 10. So uh, frequency density is equals to frequency, sorry, frequency density equals to frequency over class size. So for the first one, so the frequency density, okay, that's FD1 will be equals to frequency, which is 10 over the class size, which is also 10, that will be one. Okay, so for the second one, that's the FD2 will be equals to the frequency over the class size. Let's go back to the table again. So that is uh, the frequency is equals to 10 and then the class size is uh, 13. Sorry, the frequency is equals to 72 rather, this 72 and the class size is uh, 50 minus 30. That will be uh, 20. Okay, so I can just complete the remaining ones. So you have FD2 to be equals to 72 over 20 and that will give you 3.6. And FD3 will be equals to 18 of the class size is 25, and that will be equals to 0 0.72. Now, uh, we know that the um, height is the same as the frequency density. So, for the first one, you can say uh, uh, H1 equals to FD1. So, equally, you can do H2 to be equals to FD2. So, if we cross multiply, Okay, so we can easily get H2 from here. So H2 will be equals to uh, H1 times FD2 over FD1. If you cross multiply and make H2 the subject of the formula. So this will be equals to 3 times 3.6 over 1. So of course, H2 will be equals to 10.8. Okay, so that is for uh, this one, it will be 10.8. Okay, so that will be the height. So H3 follows the same pattern to be H1 multiplied by FD3 over FD1. So which is equals to uh, 3 times 0 0.72, okay, divided by 1. So which is equals to 2.16, okay. So that is how to complete that. So pretty easy. So this will be the end of my solution to question 3. In the next video, I will solve question 4.